Number one, collapsed bread could be as a result of overproofed dough or too little yeast or low oven temperature. Number two, dense bread could be as a result of too stiff dough. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I want us to talk about some of the mistakes you should avoid when making bread to ensure your bread turns out perfect each time. And I'm going to be sharing the things to look out for, so stay tuned. The first thing I'm going to mention is that baking is a learning experience. So you got to make sure each time you bake, you learn from your mistakes. So mistake number one, eyeballing ingredients. Precision matters in baking. So always use accurate measurements for flour, water, sugar, and yeast. Invest in a kitchen scale if you can or use the standard measuring cups. If you do not uh, use the correct measurements, they can throw off the balance of your dough and potentially lead to an unintended sour taste due to imbalanced fermentation. Close to Correct measurement is also using room temperature ingredients. Always make sure you use room temperature ingredients as we are using yeast, which does not work well with cold, cold environments. So by all means, make sure your ingredients are at room temperature. Mistake number two, ne neglecting yeast activation. If you're using dry active yeast, make sure you activate it in warm water, warm water, not hot water, before adding it to your flour. It is the engine behind that beautiful rise. If you use hot water, you're gonna risk killing your yeast. And additionally, make sure to store your yeast properly. You could be using dead yeast without knowing. If you skip yeast activation or it is inadequately done, it can result in slow and incomplete fermentation, contributing to a sour taste in the bread. Mistake number three, over or under kneading your dough. Finding the right balance is key in bread making. Over kneading can make your bread tough because over kneading breaks down the gluten structure leading to a tough and chewy texture of your bread while under kneading may result in a dense loaf as it leaves the dough with insufficient structure leading to a dense cramp. Aim for a smooth elastic dough you know your dough is ready if it doesn't easily break when you stretch it. Mistake number four, impatience with rising. Guys, please give your dough time it needs to rise properly, at least an hour or at, until it doubles in size. Even the step before putting your bread into the oven, give it sufficient time to rise because rushing this step can lead to a flat and less flavorful bread. Because insufficient rising time impedes proper fermentation, yielding a flat and less flavorful loaf. Mistake number five, overproofing. I have been a victim of allowing your dough to rise for too long can lead to overproofing. This results in weak gluten structure, causing the bread to collapse during baking and producing a gummy texture. Please leave the dough to rest for at least an hour because overproofing can lead to excessive fermentation, introducing a sour and tangy flavor to the bread. Mistake number six, ignoring oven temperature. Always preheat your oven adequately. The perfect temperature to preheat your oven is the temperature recommended by the recipe. A hot oven creates that perfect crust while a cold one may leave you with a doughy interior. Inconsistent oven temperature can affect the bread's rise and crust development. A too hot oven can lead to an even baking while a too cold oven may result in undercooked interior. So please ensure to follow the recommended oven temperature by the recipe. Mistake number eight, neglecting the cooling process. The cooling process is equally important as the whole bread making process. So let your bread cool completely on a wire rack. A wire rack allows for free air circulation. Do not slice the bread too soon as 
slicing it to soon traps steam inside leading to a gummy texture rather than the desired airy and well text structured crumb so let your bread rest preferably overnight until it cools completely so in summary the following are the things to look out for number one collapsed bread could be as a result of overproofed dough or too little yeast or low oven temperature number two dense bread could be as a result of too stiff dough or underproofed dough number three badly shaped loaf could be as a result of incorrect molding or seam knot on the bottom or just bald bad molding technique number four lack of oven spring this is when you put your bread in the oven and it doesn't spring and increase in size this could be as a result of over fermented dough or as a result of excessive oven steam number five too low volume of bread sometimes you bake your bread and it comes out smaller than it usually does this could be as a result of using too little yeast or just your dough was under mixed or because you didn't give your dough enough time to rise number six an even bread color this could be as a result of too low baking temperature then number seven sour taste sometimes your bread could have that sour tangy taste this could mean that you over fermented your dough as uh, this is as a result of over proofing your dough that's it guys remember success without failure teaches you very little so take notes and learn from your mistakes if you have any tips or experiences to share drop them in the comment section below and don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and happy baking